contestant number five, Jonathan Dupree. Jonathan Dupree, contestant number five. Good evening, fellow, well, good morning, in fact, fellow Toastmasters, and especially Chris. After all, I knew exactly what to do. It's good to start a speech with a nice, intriguing title. Right from the beginning, we're wondering what he's going to talk about. And really, it's an intriguing speech because I've been looking at structuring a speech, and the first thing they tell you is, Tell them what you're going to tell them, then tell them, then tell them what you've told them. Which is fine, but I always like to see somebody take things a little bit differently and not tell people what they're going to tell them. And I congratulate Chris on taking this rather interesting structure of a speech. My first recommendation to Chris is when you are looking at an intriguing speech, you're taking people on a journey. It's very important to try and make sure that they stay with you all the way. There's nothing wrong with people thinking, where is the speech going, as long as they're also thinking to themselves, I want to find out where the speech is going. On the whole, I think Chris managed this quite well, but there are some tools that I think he could have used. Now, as you can see, I'm standing away from the lectern at the moment. I've got a radio mic. And Chris spent a lot of his time nailed to this one spot here, and he's making a few hand gestures here and there. Something that often gets forgotten about in speech making is the effective use of the stage. Now, this doesn't mean leaping up and down and running all over the place. Not, that's not what everyone's like. I'm not like that myself. But I think it's often good to just move a little bit, maybe address one part of the audience, pause, Take a few more steps, talk to someone else, and mix things up a bit so people understand what they're doing. So that's one thing that Chris could have done differently. Also, I would have been interested to know how he knew about this 1,000 revs. Take the car up to 1,000 revs. I mean, I can understand about the disconnecting the battery, but where did that come from? I would have quite like that, to know that. But I think that Chris had some good self-deprecating humour, which is always the best in a speech like this. It's always safer to poke fun at oneself. And in the end, he had two very good messages. I went away knowing two things. One, how to start a car. And two, that you should listen to yourself. That voice that says, well, maybe the experts aren't experts in everything. Very good thing for us all to remember. In summary, Chris should make better use of the stage, better use of body language, and perhaps if he's doing that sort of structure of speech, try and draw people along with it a bit better. All in all, congratulations, Chris.